Hello, beloved brethren. Today is the, I think it's the 24th of July, 2021, here in Australia. <sighs> I pray we are all standing steadfast. Amen. I just wanted to share something. Uh, and this isn't about the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is about... <laughs> about so people say that you um, are to put on the new man not to walk in the old man but put on the new man walk in the new man and the emphasis we can hear is that people aren't doing that so instantly the devil comes in and says that you're not good enough you know, you're not doing this, you're not doing that. You haven't put on the new man to walk in newness of life. You've, you're wearing the old man, the grave clothes, and you're walking in the lusts of the flesh. So, first and foremost, we are a new creation, done, born again. We've received our Lord Jesus Christ. Our hearts are circumcised. We are born of the spirit. When we confess our Lord Jesus Christ as our savior, that our father raised him from the dead We are born of the Spirit. We wear the new man instantly. We are a new creation in Christ Jesus. And our righteousness is from him, from our Father, our God, through his Son. We become the righteousness of God in Christ. That's it. And then we walk. We follow. We wear the new man. Flesh is at enmity with the spirit. And flesh behaves the way that it behaves. It's at enmity with the spirit. To continually dictate to brethren that they need to walk in the new man and not the old man is to continually feed the ways of Satan, which is guilt and condemnation. That is where guilt comes from, condemnation. That is where condemnation comes from, guilt. So we know that always Satan will pick and pick and pick and you begin to believe, well, I'm not doing this and I'm not doing that. Therefore, I haven't put on the new man and I'm wearing the old man. And that makes me less and less and less. So that is in complete opposition to what our father has said and done 
by giving his son to the world. There are babes in Christ who believe that they know <coughs> and they will throw scriptures and use the word as a sword against the brethren. You know, and the father, he doesn't like that. <laughs> he doesn't like that because they don't understand or see that they are walking in their own righteousness and, and that through their words, they're condemning the brethren. And, and the father, he does not like that. And if you've walked, you know, for a period of time, or even if you haven't walked for a period of time, the Spirit will give you wisdom and understanding. You don't have to listen to it. You know, your walk is your walk. But it doesn't make you lesser. It doesn't make God's truth lesser in any way, shape or form. That you are the righteousness of God. We are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Nobody, nothing can take that truth it cannot you cannot be separated from the love of god that is in christ but so many want to heap guilt and condemnation on you by saying that you need to put on the new man and you know and they'll talk about the bay, the, the bay must seat of christ you know, and that you will lose rewards. Oh, your salvation is fine, but you will lose rewards. You know, yeah. We've, we're going to stand there at the Bema seat of Christ, however you want to pronounce it, but that is not our focus. And it shouldn't be our focus. You know, our focus is... Him, our Father, and His Son, and what He has said. Our worth is determined by the worth and the worthiness of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our measure is His measure. We are measured by the Lord Jesus Christ's worth. That is what the new creation is. He is our worth. Many want to pick at the brethren and um, uh, you know, like at a saw. The father is the healer through his son. Amen. If we have a sore, a, a pussing sore on our body, our father through his son is going to heal it. But you have some brethren who come along and they will constantly pick at that sore. And it's not their position to do that. Each individual beloved born of the Spirit, not of flesh and blood, is in the Father's hands through His Son. It is the Father's job through His Son to heal wounds Amen.
It is not anybody else's job to do that. So when brethren pick at you and guilt comes in because they say that you're not doing this and you're not doing that, then walk away from those brethren. They obviously think that they are have no pussy sores on them. They obviously think that it is their responsibility to heal the sores and to make you walk in the new man and not the old man. But you are born of the spirit, which is we, we are born of the spirit. We are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. We cannot be separated. We are not living in condemnation or guilt or anything else that other brethren seem to want to highlight. Our flaws, our worth is in the Son of God alive within us. We walk in newness of life because we are born of the Spirit. We have a new life. We are born again. We walk in the newness of life. But flesh is always at enmity with the Spirit. But it does not take away from the fact that we are born of incorruptible seed. And though we fall and we stumble, we will not be robbed that we walk in newness of life already. We have it. It is ours by the blood of the Lamb, whom the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ sent to this world to give us newness of life. So I pray that you do not allow brethren to pick at you and cause you to have condemnation and guilt over whatever it is and make you be accused by Satan. Amen. I love you all, beloved brethren. Our Lord Jesus Christ is coming for his bride. Hallelujah. And no longer will the accuser of the brethren accuse. Amen.